in Lincoln, Nebraska at Pinnacle Bank Arena. A sold out crowd, over 15,000 here to see number six Michigan State take on their Nebraska Cornhuskers. Michigan State, they come in hot. They've won 10 in a row, 18 consecutive regular season Big Ten games, which ties the school record. But these Cornhuskers, they are tough to play here at home. Having won 20 in a row, that ties a school record. And with that, we show you the standings in the Big Ten and Michigan State and Michigan tied atop, undefeated at 6-0. Nebraska in the middle of the strongest conference in college basketball at 3-3. Three and three. And hello there, everybody. Justin Kutcher alongside Bill Raftery. And Raft, this should be an awesome, awesome game. What an environment. I think it's safe to say this is the biggest game yet in this arena. First time I've been in the building it is exciting. They're going to be like prized by jam and stick. The rest going to have to change the defenses and counter that. You've got to run the floor against Michigan State. If you don't get back, I think you get tired. You're getting some foul problems. That's big for Nebraska. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Jeep Grand Cherokee. For the Michigan State Spartans, they go as their point guard, Cassius Winston. He is a key to that offense. One of the best shooters in the country is Matt McQuaid at the two guard. And their big man, Nick Ward, runs the floor really well. James Palmer, Glenn Watson in the backcourt for Nebraska. Watch for Copeland and Roby up front. And now let's check with a third member of our team, Andy Katz. All right, here's a Michigan State injury update for you. Kyle Arns out with a back injury. He's back in East Lansing. Joshua Langford, their star guard, still hasn't played since December 29th with a foot injury. But he told me this afternoon after shoot around, he said, Andy, I'm coming back soon. You will see me soon. The boot, hopefully, is off next week. Back to you guys. This place is crazy. Well, we're all set. It's Roby to jump center against Ward, and Ward gets the tip. And here is Cassius Winston. Excuse me there, I've made a mistake early here with the field house. The rest of it goes a little bit of it. Michigan State in their green, Nebraska in their home whites. A great job going side to side, trying to establish it. Not a good look there. And there's a the turnover, points. Glenn Watson Jr. They'll run the show here for the Cornhuskers. James Palmer Jr., he is a mismatch problem at 6'6", can handle the ball. He is a difficult test. A lot of ball screens, a lot of down screens, a lot of slips like that. And Woo! there's Roby with the finish. Off the feed from Copeland. He really is mobile. They're going to pound it in here, see if Roby can play a nice kick out. The extra pass. Goins hits the three. Kenny Goins on the season, just a 25.6% three-point shooter, hits his first. Uh, Ward really has done a much better job this year looking diagonally, finding people. Of course, they got the spot-up guys who can knock them down. There's Palmer. He's picked up by McQuaid. A little hesitation, step back, fade away. That's off the mark. Nick Ward with the rebound. Uh, McQuaid is known as a shooter. He's a heck of a defender. There's that diagonal pass, Winston for three. It's an unorthodox looking shot, but it goes down with great efficiency. Picky, picky early here, huh? How about Nick finding people? Uh, he's only a little over two assists, but it, it's his pass that leads to a pass that leads to the goal in a frequent fashion. Then Watson trying to answer back with the three, rattles in and out, Goins with a rebound. Here comes Winston. Look at the pressure. Leaves it back for Goins for his second three. No, Roby goes up high for the rebound. You've got to be consistent in your defensive transition if you're Nebraska. Well, not afraid to light it up either. Oakland knocks down the three. He's the shot maker. Tim Miles says he makes difficult shots look easy. A transfer out of Georgetown makes it a one-point game here in the early going. Nice Winston, curl. The lob and the miss on the dunk attempt by Kenny Goins. What a great look. Great feel on the curl by Winston. Tim Miles in his seventh season as the head coach for Nebraska, the Big Ten Coach of the Year back in 2014. Last year, led his team to 13 conference wins, the most in school history. He's got to learn how to chill and relax. <laughs> One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Sweetheart. 
Ulmer hanging in the paint, gets the roll, and Nebraska has a one-point lead. A bad gamble, a backflip by Copeland. Winston back the other way, off the glass. Then Watson was lucky not to get called for a foul. That little push all caused by bad decision defensively. Thomas Allen. Open his Roby. He's not even a look for a shot. He's not a threat. He's got to be. Watson hangs through contact. The follow by Roby. No, gets the rebound. And now he gets fouled. And that foul will be called against Nick Ward. Uh, the good activity by the big guy. Uh, the nice little job with the slip here. Read and go. They do this beautifully. That little overhead's a great look. I think only football guys got that look. To inbound, it will be Glenn Watson, Jr. A one-point lead for Michigan State. Palmer, the pull-up jumper. No good. And look at that box out by Michigan State. They had three jerseys around that ball. They're big wide bodies. They are uh, led the country margin six times rebounding. Too easy. Cassius Winston to the reverse. And Winston, he's got seven. You don't contain the perimeter dribble. You are going to have a difficult evening. Nice look. Looking down low for Roby, trying to reposition himself. Able to get it to Copeland. Still time on the shot clock. Shot clock now at 10. Watson. He's got the mismatch. Watson off the dribble as it blocks by Goins. Back the other way comes Winston. They've got numbers. He'll pull up from three, way off the mark. The offensive rebound by Aaron Henry, who puts it back. And that's the speed, the transition. They come in numbers. You just can't counter if you relax on the run down the other end. Roby. He can make three, so they're hugging him pretty good. Not a good look here. Not a good look. Telegraph. Henry picks it off. Winston again pushing it. Nice spin move in the paint. Throws it up with the left. No good. Roby with the rebound. And now Lynn Watson gets fouled by Aaron Henry, and that will lead us to a break. But what a start early on for Cassius Winston. Take a breath, huh? Wow. The push, the ability to finish the kiss at the end of that, but the ability to turn the corner, turn heads. You got to get back and identify. Yeah, my heart is racing a hundred miles. Every second I'm with you. Every second I'm with you. This is love, love, love. It is a five-point lead for the sixth-ranked team in the country, Michigan State, over Nebraska here in Lincoln. And when you think of Michigan State historically under Tom Izzo, you think about defense and rebounding. And they're doing both of those. However, offensively, they lead the Big Ten in scoring. They're 12th in the nation in scoring. They lead the nation in assists per game. I mean, this team, they get after you. And they shoot 50%. They've got great spot-up shooters. They've got dribble drive. They turn heads, and they push the basketball. Occasionally get you outnumbered, but puts you in a very disadvantageous position. Look at this Palmer kid go. Going to the Ooh. hoop. Has it swatted away by Kenny Goins. Boy, that's team defense. Reading it beautifully. Total commitment by Palmer. A nice job by McQuaid, too. Not the foul, knowing you got some help. Pretty good support. Tanner Borkart is into the game for Nebraska. Also into the game is Nana Kenton. Borkart is a guy who's going to rebound, defend, screen. Shot clock down to seven. A Kenton for three, way off the mark, and the rebound is pulled down by Xavier Tillman. Tillman came in for Ward after he picked up his first. Goins posting up. Brown on the floor, two people. The other guy does side saddle. McQuaid misses the three, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. Running nice the floor is Copeland. Good patience, puts it up with the left. Well, terrific job 
I think when they get a half court set, they should slow it down just a little bit. Don't get caught up in this running game of Michigan State. Little horns look turned down. McQuaid. Tillman gets doubled along the baseline. In some trouble, and he gets called for a travel. Forkright did a great job using that side, that baseline, for some support. Checking back in is Nick Ward here for Michigan State. He'll replace Kenny Goins, who's gotten off to a good start offensively and defensively. If you don't have broad shoulders, you can't play for Michigan State. <laughs> We're out, by the way. <laughs> we were never an option. One guy bigger than the other. Orkart, he could play for Michigan State. He could fits right in. Copeland, nice. little pump fake to the hoop for the dunk. How about that? They bite. The ability to put it on the left and get to the rim. Seven points for Copeland. Brings this crowd into it in a kick ball. It will stay Michigan State ball. A good ball movement. A little over help here, opens up that lane and send it in. Whew. He is ready to go. Isaac Copeland averages 14.3 points per game. He's got seven already. Goins will check back in, as does Aaron Henry from Michigan State. Xavier Tillman goes to the bench, as does Matt McQuaid. I was reading he had 49 starts at Georgetown. Did you know that? Copeland, amazing. Come here and been a huge factor. Ward dribbles away from the double team. Henry, shot clock at 10, picked up by Copeland. Shot clock now at 7. Winston sees it. The kick out, Ward for 3. Big shot by Nick Ward. How about the patience? He's been working on that baby. So with that elbow jumper in the last game. Now bring it a little further out. That was his first three of the season for Nick Ward. It came with one second on the shot clock. A big are supposed to shoot from out there in the next level. Palmer, for the up and under, no, and the rebound batted out by Michigan State will be Nebraska ball. This is some building. Shaken? Uh, amazing how they get involved in this. But look at this extra patience. Get them organized. Big fella with the large puppies drilling it. The way he looked on that three-point attempt, you would not have known that was his first attempt of the season from beyond the three-point line. Well, we saw them him practicing today doing the same thing, though. Not afraid to take it. Just his second three-point attempt in his career, and he's made both of them. So he's the best three-point shooter on the team. Roby back on the floor now. As is Watson. Make sure keep him fresh. Palmer, he goes baseline. Palmer, a lot of contact. Ball was off the backboard. Be, should that be should be goaltending. I Let's think they're going to they're gonna call it. No, nope. no, they're going to say two shots. The foul's going to be called against Aaron Henry. Uh, and I think wait, one referee see. saying it was good. No. Nope, nope they're going to say two shots. Watch how the ball, they picked it off the backboard as it was past the rim. Can't do that. Any part of the ball over the cylinder, it's a violation. So Palmer goes to the free throw line, knocks down the first. Think of the, of the game is McQuaid. Think of the experience on Nebraska, though. Guys have been around a few years. 50-year guys, Palmer comes from Miami, of course, Copeland. Numbers on Henry. He's averaging 19 points per game, third in conference play. Gets the roll. Makes them both and makes it a two-point game. Foster Lawyer is in the game as the point guard now for Michigan State. Will be on Goins now. There's that double they've been working on. And they got to recover. Good job. McQuaid puts on the floor. His pull-up, no, and the rebound by Borkart. He lets Roby play the forward position. Watson, pretty step back for three. Now he's got his guy. Tim Miles says, get up on him. Pound him. Gabe Brown is in here for Michigan State. 
Ward again faces the double to skip pass. Brown can shoot the three. A little bit long. Nice Offensive rebound. Offensive rebound by Goins. Ward the runner. No. Goins. He gets fouled by Borkart. A one-point lead for Nebraska at the under 12, thanks to this move by Glenn Watson. Step back, Jack. You want him. Next time, draw him in and put it on the deck and get to the rim. This is some atmosphere. Must see arena. On January 26th, undefeated welterweight world champion Keith Thurman squares off against Josecito Lopez, PBC on Fox Live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, January 26th, only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Here in Lincoln, a one-point lead for Nebraska over Michigan State with 11.36 to go in the first half. And you look at how strong the Big Ten is according to the net rankings. Look at these teams in the top 40 for the Big Ten. Yeah, three in the top 10, six in the top 20. Pretty impressive. A little two-three zone, a lot of changes you'll see, little wrinkles. Save people to 1-1-3 one, one, technically. They also love the 1-3-1. One, one. Winston oh. is back in. He'll shoot the three, missing this time. The rebound by Roby. This is where they have to be intelligent when they run their half court. Don't be impatient. Make Michigan State work. Palmer on the floor. It's Borkart, Roby, Watson. You can lose Borkart because they're not playing it. Ward's backing off, and it opens up lanes. There's Borkart with the offensive rebound on the weak side. Watson for three. Got it again. Woo. The little things you can do to help your team. Borkart. And now a turnover. Here comes Palmer. Realizes he doesn't have numbers. 8-0 run for Nebraska. Roby off the dribble. Palmer nice. trying to go back door, and that one's knocked away, but Nebraska will get it back with 15 on the shot clock. Nice job by Roby, keeping it alive. Shot clock at 8. Borkart sets the screen. Palmer doesn't use it. Roby has to put up the 3. And the rebound by Ward. That could be a fun battle down low. Oh, Ward against Borkart. The Bruce brothers. <laughs> I didn't say booze, I said bruise. <laughs> Winston. McQuaid finding Ward against Portcart. Shot clock at eight. Ward's baseline jumper is good. This yeah. kid is good. He really does a great job in or out. Terrific post moves. He's developed the counter instead of going over the right shoulder all the time. He's a loon. He snaps an 8-0 run by the Cornhuskers, makes it a two-point game. He shows big to Ward. He covers beautifully. Well, that was a perfect trap. Palmer, McQuaid fell, Porkart gets it, has it blocked. A good job by Gabe Brown coming over. Winston back the other way. They take good shots. Brown for three. And the rebound by Isaiah Roby. The Borkart's really done a solid job. He stuck Ward that trip. A little gassed right now, don't you think? The Nebraska more so. Under nine to go here in the first half. Two-point lead for the Cornhuskers. Shot clock down to six. Roby will put up the three again, and that one's in and out. One with a rebound. That's why he's so tall. You got a good kick out here. Turnover. Unforced turnover right there by Nick Ward, throwing it high and behind Cassius Winston. Yeah, Roby can beat you in so many ways. That was right on that shot. I think he can drive his guy now. Got him set up. Amir Harris will check in, replacing James Palmer Jr. Ward goes to the bench. Back in is Xavier Tillman for Michigan State. And Nebraska not deep. We even talked about it earlier today. They play a lot of minutes, a lot of plus 30s on that club. And think about this. Tanner Borkart, who's playing a lot of minutes, he had root canal surgery yesterday morning at 7.30, was at practice yesterday afternoon, and he's playing here tonight. You said working with me makes you think of a root canal. I think. <laughs> he's a tough kid. He got a pretty good knock in the lip, too. Good movement by Copeland. 
Oakland back in there. Roby got the loose ball. Shot clock at 10 again. Watson he against gets, Winston. Gets his feet organized beautifully. Step back, fadeaway jumper, no, and a good rebound by Xavier Tillman. The pass up ahead, what a finish by Gabe Brown, exploding to the hoop. Got it, and the foul. And the foul is going to be called against Borkhart. The pass shortens the floor, and then that ability to turn the shoulder and attack. He was actually going to dunk this one. Look at that, that is impressive. That was the second foul against Borkhart. And they talk about the shooting of Gabe Brown, but this kid is athletic. Well, he and Henry are going to have some careers. This to give Michigan State the one-point lead. And he does just that. Really two tough-minded clubs right now. Digging in on both ends of the floor. Both teams are ready for a timeout. Yeah, they are. They're a little out of, out of gas. Harris trying to find Copeland. Copeland, the baseline jumper, no. And the rebound for Tillman. Here comes Michigan State once again. He got a good look by Lawyer. Harris with the pick. Harris got fouled. And that foul is going to be on the floor. 7.35 to go here in the first half. One-point lead for Michigan State on the road against Nebraska. Grand Cherokee back here inside Pinnacle Bank Arena. One-point lead for Michigan State. Let's go inside the huddle with Nebraska's Tim Miles. Hey, stay with it. Keep getting back. We got to eliminate transition. If you don't have a man in transition, Take whoever's there, whether you're a big or whoever, get back, get that thing set. With the better offense we run, the easier it is to convert back. Run your stuff with pace. A great comment, too, because if you take good shots, you're balancing the floor. But I like the way he said it. You know, with the state of having whoever's ever around you, well, that's true. Good communication. I'll take your guy, you take mine. And, uh, really informative timeout. Andy, you are listening in on the Michigan State timeout. What do you hear? Well, Tom Izzo told Gabe Brown, the freshman, just to slow down, take your time a little bit. But I will also tell you that Joshua Langford contributing, even though he's not playing, he was as vocal in that huddle as Tom Izzo. Well, I hope he said somebody get Thomas Allen off the screen. Uh, nice little job using that double on the baseline. Sort of a stagger. He thinks offense, that kid. Four for nine from three-point land are the Cornhuskers as they lead by two. Winston ties it at two, was looking for the foul, and Cassius Winston now with nine points in the half. Well, you got to be relentless defensively. Both these clubs with a lot of bumps and pin downs. Roby, great spot for him, that mid post. Forcing up the shot. Good defense right there by Xavier Tillman. Look at Winston just pushing. Relentless on that. Goins looking down low. Roby knocks it away. Another turnover here for Michigan State. Copeland for three. That's long. Very unselfish by Palmer. A little slap back for an open look. That's what running does, though. You get some good opportunities. Disadvantage position. Goins and Winston were talking over that one. Winston pulls up for three, back rims it, and the rebound comes back out to Cassius Winston. Wade rested now, maybe they get him a look. Six minutes to go here in the half, and another steal this time by Glenn Watson Jr. Pushing, looking for the foul. He's got the foul, it's on the floor. And the foul is going to be called against Xavier Tillman. Uh, pretty good effort by Tillman. Didn't give up on the play, but you fluff it up in that area of the floor. You're going to have some difficulties. But just a wonderful job using that little bump. Dribble handoff ends up to be a stagger and a little nylon by a guy who just gets him organized. That last foul was called against Tillman, his first, and a good job by Goins, making sure he got him away. Don't pick up a stupid foul, a technical foul. And look at that little slip by Roby. Great feel for the game. Nice dump down by Palmer. 
Goins will pull it back out. Ward is back in. Lost it on the way up. Fighting for it. And we've got a foul going against Nebraska. And this foul is going to be called against Isaiah Roby. That's the first against him. And Watson with really good hands in there on the slap. I think he gets a piece of it. That is really clever. Helping out your big fella. Watson truly a great defender. Usually a great one-on-one -on, -one on ball defender, but helping there. There's the one-three-one. We saw them work on it. As you can see, there's a lot of counters. Dribble drive to crack. Shot clock down to five. McQuaid to Ward. Shot clock at one. They're not going to get a shot off. Shot clock violation. What Listen a to this crowd. What a call out of the break there. Really solid. Clock running down. First time he used it this half. Mentioned this the last game. Tip Myers likes to use it late in the half just to see what teams are going to do against it. Let's see if he sticks with it. Seven turnovers for Michigan State here in the first half. It's a little rub. Once in a while, they catch you sleeping to get a layup. Allen, there's a mismatch. There's a switch. Copeland kicks it back out. Allen, shot clock at six. Allen off the glass, puts it in. What a hesitation move by the little guy. Four-point lead for the Cornhuskers. Winston back the other way. Oh, nice job, extra pass. You've had nice cut. And there's Cassius Winston again. 11 points to quiet this crowd. And Watson will pull it back out, reset. This is what you were talking about. Yeah, Settle things down. And what he said was run it with pace, too. Even though you're slowing it down, you that nice little use of the bump again. Shot clock under 10 again. And Roby might get something. He's got more bringing him away from the basket. Watson, the spin move. He got fouled on the floor by Goins with three on the shot clock. Whew. What spirit that Watson has and exhibits out there. But Allen with the ability on the bounce. Just slow it down a little. Push it forward. Finish it with the little kiss. The building's on fire and early. The Huskers. Extraordinary. For these final four minutes of this first half, 26-24, Nebraska leading Michigan State. Michigan State is known for their rebound. Right now, they lead by four in the rebounding margin. But how about the turnovers? Nebraska averages 8.3 steals per game. That leads the Big Ten. Raph, right now, they lead 11-0 points off turnovers. And, of course, uh, Michigan State only turns it over 13 times. But a lot of mistakes in an area that lead to, as Tom calls, touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Turnovers for touchdowns. Scott Frost also says that. Is that does he? Yeah. Have you had Nebraska football? They had a good I have. Yeah. I did not have them this year, but I have had them, yes. I can imagine that happens through something like this, huh? Palmer, the spin move into a double team. He's now one of six from the floor, and the rebound comes out to Gabe Brown. Winston's been really solid. They've not been able to get it to Ward on that dunk end whatsoever, so a pretty good job by Roby. Tillman missed the three. Palmer the other way, forcing the issue, and that's going to be an offensive foul. He's great at that, McQuaid. Great anticipation. That's all scattered in preparation. And you got to be careful with the ball. Always under control. But how about this guy? Lighten it up when necessary. Making cuts to get free, using the dribble to finish on his own deal and find some people. Just clever, intelligent, and solid. And I know Lab's going to have to consider him the potential player of the year in this conference. He's been great. He's got 11 points so far in this one. Three assists and just one turnover so far. This is the 1-3-1. One, one. They use a screen. They nice step through and one. And that is going to be the second foul against Roby here with 3-18 to go in the first half. That's all deployment, though. A little more of a wrinkle on that ball screen. Pry, you widen out the wingman. That's a shame, too. They need him. They not only need him, need him to perform, perform at a high level. 
So Winston goes to the free throw line where he is a nearly 80% free throw shooter, hits the first. Yeah, you really, off this bounce, you end up owning the guy. Very clever, little pump fake, get him to bite. Play round claw. He's such a smart player. Does he he, he's not going to be one of those guys that just wows you with his athleticism, but he can wow you with his brains. Detroit Jesuit. He was offered by Harvard, so you know the guy's a smart dude. That was my safe score. <laughs> <laughs> and foul. And got hit on the arm on the jump shot. Goes straight up. And that's going to be the 17th foul also for Michigan State. Still going for the little nickel dimer, but this guy's been solid. Beginning of the game, that little jab step, breakdown, jump shot. This little maneuver around the goal, let the traffic subside, and this is bringing it on. Rattles in the first free throw, a 70% free throw shooter. He's got eight in the half. Nebraska leads by one. Tillman picked up his second. He goes to the bench. Goins is back in. Cheapy. These last three minutes are critical right now for Nebraska with Roby on the bench with those two fouls. Four carts in, he's got two. It's understand with the one three one that this is what they need more of. Ward at that low box area. Tim Miles not happy at all with Palmer. I think he may have been in the wrong defense. Borkart couldn't do much because he had the two fouls already. And they are lean on the pines. Allen turns the corner. Little teardrop. No, Borkart tries to keep it alive. It's one of the rebound. Nice. Allen takes it away. Well, you got to protect it. Palmer for three. Can't buy a basket right now, but a traveling violation called against Glenn Watson Jr. Try to do a hop step and get away with it when they are competing on the glass. Michigan State usually owns that area of the floor. James Palmer, who averages 19 points per game, is one of seven from the floor, and yet here's Nebraska tied at 28. They put in four or five new things, Michigan State, against this 1-3-1, and they've been affected. Look at this diagonal. you got an open look at... Ward spins. Airball Copeland with a rebound. That's that counter move he has. Watson for three. No, the tip is kept alive by Copeland. And the rebound for Goins. Continuous pressure with the dribble. The load up early. The little nickel dimer number three. Gorsh, that's all Ward. I mean, he has the stamina to compete and go rim to rim with the best of them. Number three, as you mentioned, against Borkart. That's the 16th foul. And now checking in is going to be Brady Hyman as Tim Miles has to go farther down his bench than he usually wants to to bring Hyman into this game against Michigan State, tied at 28. in the first half and Raph we came on the air saying how this might be the biggest game in the history of this Pinnacle Bank Arena and you see what Nebraska has already done this year this the first quad one home game of the season uh, big to them no question about it in terms of where they might be seated first they've been seated all here uh, they, they've been impressive Winston the diagonal the extra pass by McQuaid a little length on the top here with Palmer. Nice feed. Goins, the elbow jumper, no. It's kept alive. Ward, the offensive rebound. The crowd wanted the offensive foul. No whistle. Michigan State with the lead. That's a big 10 offensive maneuver. He may have gotten away with it, but some power at the tip. Coming up on a minute to go here in the first half. Watson's calling out for the screen. Copeland's got it now. Shot clock at eight. Copeland's step back jumper is long, and the rebound is pulled down by Gabe Brown. Long and challenged. Not a good play. Michigan State wants a timeout, and they will take it here with 52.7 seconds to go. That's the only thing Winston's done slowly is call a timeout. Goodness. <laughs> the crowd not work. happy.
by two. They bring in Thomas Kithier, number 15. Ward goes to the bench. Nick really a tough guy to counter. This is added to the arsenal, the ability to plume large outside, but this is where he does his business. A little mid post ability to keep things alive, attack. Winston, he's going to be called for the foul, a hooking foul. See, to tried to hook Lynn Watson. Tim Miles worked hard in that timeout, uh, begging a little bit. Delighted to get one. He thought Ward got away with one earlier. Nebraska has missed its last six field goals. They really haven't gotten good shots. Great challenge. That's a tough shot, too. Oakland in and out. The rebound by Kithier. Well, here's Cassius Winston slowing it down. This is where you've got to be careful for Nebraska. Checking out offensive rebounding. They're going to get a chance to get the ball back with solid D. About a seven second difference. Shot clock to game clock. Winston. Winston to the hoop. Got the foul and the finish. What a great call. He opened the middle. And nobody at home vacated the area. The little guy with the blow by. What a nice understanding of the game. You see how everybody separates a little late. Tapioca on the head by Copeland, was it? It is on Copeland, yep. His first. Connor George will check in after the free throw. And this is just Tom Izzo trying to make sure none of his guys pick up a second foul. The three-point play is converted by Winston. George comes in. A five-point lead. Cassius Winston with 16 first half points. Watch the blow by. Watson leaves it back. Palmer's been cold, puts up the three, can't hit it again. And the rebound, this one's thrown up. It'll come up short. Well, they left it all out there, did they, for 20? Both clubs? A 7 0 run by Michigan State to close out the half and lead by five as they head into the locker room here on the road in Lincoln as we check in with Andy Katz. All right, thank you, Tim. You said you were going to have to mix up defenses against Michigan State. How would you assess the way you guys did in mixing those up, especially without Roby late in the first half? Well, we did okay, but, you know, Isaiah's got to have some discipline on that foul. It was just a senseless foul. We got to get to Cash it's Winston. He's really hurting us. You said this was going to be a great atmosphere. What'd you think of the first 20? It's always great here, man, but this one's really fun. We just got to get out quick second half, get back on top. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Andy. Back to you, Justin. All right, Andy, thank you very much. Thanks, Coach Miles. The end of the first half, an 11-2 run for Michigan State as they lead 33-28. We'll get you to Mike Hill, Steve Lavin, Casey Jacobson in L.A. with a Jeep Grand Cherokee halftime report after this. Let's hope the second half is as good as the first half. Half stats look like this. Nebraska shooting just 29% from the floor. They missed their last eight field goal attempts. They went without a field goal once Isaiah Roby went to the bench with those two fouls. Justin cut you alongside Bill Raftery. So, Raft, we see those stats. We saw the first half. It was fun. What'd you take away? Well, I think the 28% speaks of the great defense. They took challenge jump shots. You can't do that. Move the ball, get the guy set up when they ran their little bumps on the baseline. Allen got a good look. Then Copeland got one early. So get back to that. Take good shots. We heard from Tim Miles. They got to stop Cassius Winston because he went off in that first half. I'll tell you what, that's a great coach. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Observant coach, I should say. How do you stop him, though? It's got to be, see the containment there? That's just nothing. No defense on that. The ability to turn the corner, Watson not even there. But his activity without the basketball is what makes him tough. He gives it up. He stays alert. Times the move. Curls, cuts, dives to the tin. Sensational half. On the flip side, not the half that James Palmer Jr. was hoping for. Just one of eight on the floor. His only field goal 
happened at the 1750 mark of the first half. Matt McQueen, pretty good defender too. Got that charge on him, tagging him on the little screens on the baseline. Nebraska start with the ball here in the second half. Here's Copeland. Let's see what Nebraska runs to open up this half. Palmer, can they get him going? Kick out to Roby. Once again, McQuay with a good feet. And now Palmer just slips and falls a turnover. Winston back the other way. They are relentless on the defensive end. Wade. Looking for Ward down low. Puts pressure on the post defender. Copeland's on Ward. Winston shot clock down to six. McQuaid has it with five. McQuaid into Roby. And good defense. Roby nearly got called for the third foul. He's got to be careful. He's got to move around. He's got Ward on him. He can do some damage outside, Roby. Pitch and pop. Watson picked up the dribble. He would look to take him. He's quicker. Shot clock down to five. Copeland, two. Trying to find the ball, putting it up as the shot clock goes off, puts it in. Persevering, they don't get back. Ah, and pay mightily. Oh, you can't just stop and wait for the applause. No recognition on the and Palmer and Allen are talking to each other on the other way down the floor. 35-30, Michigan State leading Nebraska. And dribble handoff ends up being a double screen, but nothing there. Roby on the baseline, shot clock at four. Palmer has to put a shot up, contested. That draws iron. The rebound is pulled down by Goins. Well, they're there struggling. Empty trips, challenge shots. They can you use clock. Goins, the jumper, way off the mark. Too strong. Quickly up ahead. Palmer trying to find a bucket, and he'll get fouled this time by Kenny Goins. He did a good job on the one end and really got out. Anticipated the fast break and a nice lead pass. That's the second foul against Goins with Palmer going to the free throw line. Let's check in with Andy Katz. Well, I walk onto the court here in the second half with Tom Izzo and ask him, what did you tell your team right when you got to the locker room? He said, too many foolish turnovers. Circled that 11 to 2 points off of turnovers for Nebraska. Also concerned about those early fouls for Aaron Henry. But the guy that bailed him out, Cassius Winston, he said, that's what great players do. They bail you out just like he did in the first half. And let's not forget that Michigan State is playing without Kyle Arns, playing without Joshua Langford, two key contributors to this team. Tells you how deep they are. 35-32, Michigan State leading. The fans trying to get into it here once again at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Nice pass to the right hand. Maybe a little bit too much of a lead. Tenth turnover of the game for Michigan State. That's what makes them tough, though. They've always got that bailout in Ward in the low box area. Really just spot up shoot. Just wins it with the dribble drive. Roby trying to go high low. The quick pass and a turnover, and now going to be a foul. Not a good one, though. And that's going to be against Roby, and that's number three. Chris is, he went for the ball, got McQuaid right across the Kissa, as they would say, the Bronx. Just the telegraph pass causes the problem. All of a sudden, a little duck there. Mars that good look at McQuaid. You know those fouls, those are the frustration fouls by Roby trying to make up for the mistake, and then you compound the mistake. Ward against Borkhart. Borkhart's got three fouls also. Henry for three. No. And the rebound is chased down by Palmer. Palmer going to the hoop against McQuaid. Great defense. Just went back Walter. with the hands up. Real smart play. You notice Michigan State's got walk-in or step-in jump shots. Conversely, to the other side, a lot of challenge ones. 
Henry the freshman. McQuaid is still scoreless in the game. Winston. Ward on the baseline against Borkart. Back to the left. And the rebound by Copeland. Robert can just relax a little and let it come to him. Great step back move by Watson. Oh, that was pretty. Borkart with the seal. That gave him the easy entree. Eight points now for Watson. Goins thought about a three. Ward on the block. Triple team. Goins now for three. Front rims it, and the rebound is knocked out. Let's see. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Henry, and it will be Nebraska ball. Uh, Tim Miles yesterday said, you got to let somebody try and beat you. Uh, they're settling to let Goins do it. But this is just terrific seal off. Just a heck of a heads-up play. Gives your guard an opportunity, an easy one. Don't forget, he had a root canal. Borkart did yesterday. Get you a job at the Dental Society, you know? <laughs> he comes, he comes. A chance for Nebraska to take the lead here. Palmer, shot clock at eight. Copeland, top short. of the key three, it's short. Again, challenge. Henry loses it. Turnover. Here comes Allen. Allen to the hoop. Too strong. Gets the rebound as it blocked, but a foul. I think Coins got there, lady. That big wide body got a piece of it, but boy, did they hustle back. You think you got an easy one? Not against Michigan State. They don't give up on a play. And that's going to be the third foul against Goins. We've got a good one here in Lincoln. One point lead for Michigan State. FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Bruno Fernando, the big man for Maryland. Such great footwork. Very talented. That goes Anthony Cowan. Great too. As he goes, I think that's that Maryland team. Little drive, break the defense down, kick back. Fernando, not hiding away. Look at those two. How about the heavyweights, huh? <laughs> the left Wesson can really seal and turn you, twist you around. And a nice little touch around the rim, too. At the free throw line is Thomas Allen. Allen knocks down the first. He's got six on the night. And that ties the game up at 35. And they, they've hung tough. They really have. Not running smooth offense. Nebraska's back on top by one. The fans, they come to their feet. They oblige Tim Miles. Winston is picked up by Allen. That man going through Ward at some point. Winston keeps that dribble nice going. Look. Finds Tillman. Well, you are right. Keep it alive while he's got vision. Good dispersal of it. Five assists now for Cassius Winston. He averages 7.4 assists per game. Good for fourth in the country. Values the ball, too. Two a game. Look where they're starting the offense. Good denial. Shot clock already under 10. Allen. Nice cut. The back door. Copeland with the reverse. And Allen, with that little spin in the lane, locked his pivot foot. What a great find. Copeland's got 13. Nebraska back up by one. Borchardt's got the three. He's got to be careful. A Brown for three. No. And the rebound is off the hands of Nick Ward. Nebraska ball. The Borchardt helped. Recovered. He's going to get a little flow as Roby comes on the floor. And right now, just this little hesitation and fine. Just extraordinary vision. Countered at the other end. Just keeping the eyes on the dive. A little use of the rim to finish the deal. Neither team is shooting well from three-point land. Michigan State has missed their last eight. Oh, Palmer That's really way off the mark for Palmer as he is now one of 11 from the floor. Defender right up on him. Winston Ooh. banks in the three. How appropriate in this building, huh? I can't, he can't even yeah. hide the smile right now. Yeah, yeah, put a visor on you. 19 for Cassius Winston. Two-point lead for Michigan State. 
The answer is no good from Watson. Here comes McQuaid. And now they've made a switch. Palmer is on Winston trying to get some length on him. I think that this is uh, interesting. Winston's got to get free. They do like McQuaid running the point. They play him play off the ball. Plays like that, he can make. Sets up Xavier Tillman for an easy bucket. 42-38, Michigan State leading. Don't forget, Michigan State has won 18 consecutive Big Ten regular season games, tying a school record. Nebraska's won 20 straight here at home. Roby, the baseline jumper, got it. Be a threat, big fella. Break him down. Roby playing with three fouls, two-point ball game. Allen back on Winston. Orchard get inside, he can do some damage on Roby. Tillman for three, back rims it. McQuaid keeps it alive. Fresh 30 here for Michigan State. Look at this kid with the touch. Feathery, doesn't go, but soft release. Palmer gets the rebound. Up ahead, Copeland challenging Moore, draws the foul. Well, that's what that push does, get him on a bad angle. Ward a little bit winded. Oh, but this is a little help from above. Going to use this in my... I'd like to say heyday, but I never had one. <laughs> a little smile as well. There's so many good things for this club. A nice little slip pass. McQuaid running the point. Palmer trying to deny. <laughs> Miles talking to Palmer over there just to calm him down, I think. The last foul on Ward was his second, the team's third. Copeland at the free throw line. The 13 points. Excuse me, the, the psychology just of coaching, though, just to relax him. Just let it come. See if he can get to the foul line. He's taking a blow now. How do you, how do you let it come if you, if you are James Palmer, who is a guy they rely on to score, and he's only got six points on one of 11? Well, he's on the top of the chart, basically, when he's do the scouting report. So you know you're going to get the best defender, which McQuaid is. Uh, he just has to be smooth in his decision-making. Don't rush shots. Don't hit challenge shots. Picks it up a little bit. First two missed free throws of the game. The runner off the glass by Cassius Winston. It's tough. 21 now for him. And look at how they corral him for him, too. They get a bump. And that's going to be against Xavier Tillman. And for Tillman, that's his third. He's mounting up, but this guy is mounting up at the box score as well. A little kiss. Detroit Jesuits all delivered big time in Lincoln. Here on the road against Nebraska, 11.47 to go. Michigan State, their hearts are heavy as they lost a legend, a coach. From 1969 to 1976, preceded Judd Heathcote. Passed away on Friday, January 11th. And there they are, huh? What Look a shot that. that is. Legendary. Is a lovable guy. I love being part of the radio later on in life, and that's an honor to him. They're wearing the patch that says Gus on the jersey. Started with John Bennington, who had been St. Louis, and then took over for John. Class hack. In the corner, the three is no good. Nice so Watson, the offensive rebound oh. for Roby. A tip, Copeland to the hoop. Gets it stripped, gets it back, tries to dunk, misses. Still loose, and it's finally picked up by Tillman. Winston. This is a tough match, I think, for Palmer up to dribble. McQuaid is being patient with Roby on him. They switch. Winston Pretty. lobbing one up. Roby deflects it with those three fouls and takes it away. Playing with a little emotion. Put that paw in there. Palmer's been cold all game long. There you Natalie go. Natalie hits the field goal. I wondered if Miles said to him, I want you to drive the next time you can. That's the only way you can... Get your game going. Get to the free throw line or knock one down. Two-point game. Tim Miles asking the crowd for some noise. 15,500 here. 
He's got to use Ward, I think. Tough Roby. match for Roby. McQuay back to Ward, to the hoop. Roby with the block. And it's out of bounds off of Michigan State, Nebraska ball. Roby with some energy. The last couple of trips getting in the game, and they need him a great deal. Here to recovery. Beautiful strip. Keeps it in play. Ward's going to go out. Back in is Kenny Goins. You think about Isaiah Roby. He had just 9-4 and four against Indiana. Was played with foul trouble. He had 22-11 and 4 blocks against Iowa. That played great that game. Has shown signs. Heard Stephen Bardo say one night. The pregame show. I just love to bring him to Chicago and let him work hard. Find out what it's really like to compete. He's got some <laughs> talent. Easy for Steven to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's 10 on the shot clock here for Nebraska. Anna Kenton is in, number 25. Palmer to the hoop. Hangs, doesn't get it. Trying to keep it alive. It's out of bounds. Off of Michigan State. Roby Nebraska ball with a fresh 30. And Roby in the mix again. And back in is Nick Ward as he'll replace Xavier Tillman. This has been a battle so far. Welcome to the Big Ten. Not for the faint of heart. Palmer, he's got cotton up his nose right now. That's the type of battle it's been. He's been driving. See if he does it again. He wants some room. Crosses over McQuaid. This time he will get the foul call. He is terrific in ISOs. And Tim Miles puts him in those spots. He loves that left side of the floor. Sometimes out a little bit higher. Terrific crossover. Cotton and all. Able to take his guy. And you see the wraparound. Easy call. Palmer heads to the free throw line. A chance to tie it here for Nebraska. A guy who tested the NBA waters in the offseason. Decided to come back to school. You could see his game. He's got versatility. He can be a mismatch. But he's trying to become the first player in Nebraska history since Tyron Lue to average 20 points per game. And he can dance, too. We saw him in the uh, shoot around. Able to make some maneuvers. And boy, this is an advantage. People in red all over this one. Side up at 44. Henry for three. Got it. He's a freshman from Indianapolis knocking it down. Cold hearted. This catch, get him organized. And a good find as well. Winston trying to go back door for Copeland, and it's taken away by Goins. Gotta get shots. Boy, Ward. He's going to pay rent in there. McQuaid left open for three. He doesn't hit it. And Watson goes up high for the rebound. They dodge one there. How about McQuaid moving his feet against Palmer? It's terrific. Roby against Ward. Oh, he thought he was going to zig and zag. Looking for the back door. He's pretty good at making a sound play with that pass. With that extra pass around the circumference here. You don't have it on one side. The replace. Kick it to the other. And the southpaw stroke. Beautiful. Dashes Winston against Allen. Kicks it out. Goins. Ward, nice the dive. Goins off the glass. And that tells you the coordinated effort. The read. Goins with the dive, the big fella, smooth delivery dish. Five-point lead for Michigan State. That was the lead at the half. Coming up on eight minutes to go here in the second half. And one of their favorite plays. Hit down in the dribble exchange. Ends up with two bumps. Shot clock down to six. Allen. Roby for three. 
off the side. Chased and saved. Watson to the hoop. No. On the floor. Goins has it. Here comes Michigan State. Henry trying to lob it up. Gets it back and puts it in. Largest lead of the game for Michigan State. Well, there is some speed. We talk about strength, but they can cover the floor. Henry's going to be a real good one. Palmer with the left. Doesn't get the roll. Ward's got the rebound. This is danger zone right now. A 7-0 run for the Spartans of Michigan State. This is where you find if you have it on this defensive end. A lot of guys holding the shorts. Hands on these. Aaron Henry, the freshman, has been impressive. Winston, Ward, the offensive rebound, has it poked away. And a foul will be called here against Michigan State. Might be Goins, I'm not so sure. If it... I think you're right. I think it is Goins. If so, that's his fourth. But how about this? Going Michigan State's way, the finish for Aaron Henry, 51-44, Michigan State on top. Back here inside Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska. Seven-point lead for Michigan State over Nebraska as we revisit the Big Ten standings. Michigan State is tied with Michigan at 6-0. Nebraska right in the middle of the pack, and it's a very important game for them. Let's go inside the huddle with Tim Miles. We're down seven, right? So let's get it all squared away in the next four minutes. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get it all squared away. Oh. Let somebody box. Oh, everybody box. If we're at the rim, get it on the glass. If you're on the rim, get it on the glass. Take the foul. Take the foul. They'll jump at everything, right? Take the Urging and supportive. Obviously wants them to pump fake at that rim. I'm just concerned now coming down the stretch that they have it. Is fatigue a major factor? And taking the foul, they're 10 of 12 at the free throw line for the game. In the nice. paint to the hoop, just as Tim Miles said. They got all the way to the hoop, and they make it a five-point game. He is explosive. Thomas Allen now with nine. That snaps the seven nothing run. Winston had to go through his hands, able to find Ward. They come late with the double, big, big. McQuaid gets fouled by Watson, trying to poke it away from behind. And that's what happens when you close out, out not in control to a good shooter like McQuaid. Plus he's improved so much with his ability to bounce. That was just the second team foul against Nebraska. Michigan State has six. So Nebraska will be shooting free throws That's the rest issue. of the way. Got to get it in. They do just get it in. Coming up on six minutes to go in the ball game. Winston's got 21. Shot clock at nine. Deflected ball. Tillman, another deflected ball. Copeland with the steal. What a great effort at the dial. Palmer was calling for it. Didn't get it. I think Isaac can do some damage, too. He's got to be a little more of a threat on a catch. Palmer's got Gabe Brown on him. Drives baseline. Copeland, the corner three. No. Roby trying to get the offensive rebound. It's out of bounds off Ooh. of Ward. Boy, what an opportunity there, Justin. Only of those kids come down and finish it. Quick timeout. And Fresh a timeout finish. taken here by Tim Miles. With 5.33 to go in a five-point game, Nebraska trying to come back. Cassius Winston for us is that great quarterback that can score it, that can pass it, and that can think the game. And I don't think you can win big unless you have a great leader as your point guard. Got 21 points, six assists, and just three turnovers. He carried the team really in the first half. And he's great with the ball or without the basketball. Running the break, getting others involved. It's just a great feel, the peekaboo look and lob, which they run so nicely here. Just a nice, smooth, square-em-up, knockdown jump shot. 
And conversely, on the other end, this is where their point guard, Chip Watson, has to take over. Palmer off the glass, puts it in. McQuaid tried drawing the charge, no whistle, three-point game. By the way, Cassius Winston is two points shy of 1,000 for his career. Nebraska really showed some ticker right now. Ward against Roby. That looked like a travel. Could have been. They may have locked that foot in. I saw him move the front foot. Homer lobbing one for Roby, and Ward is going to be called for the foul. Homer showing some life right now. Well, a lot of nice things off the dribble. That little timeout helped him, I think. Relax. Didn't have a little conversation with him about five minutes ago. But this guy, let's check that pivot foot out. I thought I'd tell you what, you might have been right. This is one and one for Roby. It was the third foul against Ward, team seventh. And Roby misses the free throw, but Ward wow. can't corral the rebound. Or just not concentrating on that particular play. And now, Raph, this is one of those moments where if you're in Nebraska, you have to capitalize yeah, off do. of that. Inbound and follow. Here it comes. And circle play. Allen. He can blow by. Puts up the three. Comes up short. They've missed their last 12 from three-point land. That should tell you something, right? Get to the rim a little bit. Yeah. You're, you, you're shooting. You're in the bonus. You're going to the free throw line. Sendley. That's that little high-low. Boyne's very good at dumping it down. Tilting and on the floor now. Be called here against Glenn Watson Jr. That's his second. And the team's third. They'll reset the shot clock to 20. It was at 12. And Nebraska come up with a stop here on defense. They go to the 1-3-1. Long at the top and middle. Got to get to that diagonal spot. Tillman. Out to Winston for three. Hits it. And he's over a thousand for his career. Wow. Dagger by the little guy. 56-48. Michigan State on top. Largest lead of the game. Nice cut, but look at that. Look at that steal by Tillman. Face the basketball. Under four to go. Michigan State will slow it down. Yeah, they know clock and time. They know the whole deal. Score. Winston for three again. No. Kept alive. And the rebound is pulled down by Palmer. Good defense again by McQuaid. He's got great containment skills. Roby. Hands off. Watson for three. They need it. He doesn't go. Ward gets fouled by Roby. And that's number four against Roby. Whew. What a good look they had, too. Just did knock it down. Cassius Winston is now over 1,000 points for his career. And it came with a clutch, clutch three-pointer that has given Michigan State its biggest lead of the game, 56-48 with 321 to go. FS1. It's a Arizona State. He's averaging more than 17 a game. Double-digit points in all but one game this season. He'll lead the Sun Devils against Oregon State. Undefeated in the conference play so far. It's coming up next on FS1, but only when you're done in Lincoln. Justin and Rap. All right, Mike, thank you very much. Our game reset is sponsored by SoFi. Get your money right. 56-48. Michigan State leading. They've got three timeouts remaining, but you see Nebraska is in the bonus. They're shooting free throws the rest of the way. They were getting to the line enough, though that's part of their demise and the deep shot relying on it. We heard that clip from Tom Izzo talking about his point guard, Cassius Winston, how valuable he is. You're going to see it here. Tillman comes up short. The rebound by Copeland. Roby playing with four fouls. Watson in the paint. Uh, uh, we're going to have yeah, it's goal it's tending. Yep. yep. Basket interference yep. against Nebraska. 
Even there, they didn't really get a good, clean look amongst the bigs. At some point, you got to make a decision, find somebody. A good call. It goes against Isaac Copeland. And Michigan State is content right now to take time off the clock. This is when you, you're liable to get a little back cut. Everybody a little over aggressive. A queen. Difficult shot in and out. And a rebound. Tillman with the offensive rebound. If he can corral it, it's a fresh 30. Ward comes in with a dunk and tries to hang on the rim to avoid falling on Copeland. What a competitive play by Tillman. Ten point lead. The three is short. 14 straight missed three pointers for Nebraska. Yeah, that was one of the better ones they got, too. Lynn Watson Jr. is now 3 of 13 from the floor. James Palmer is 3 of 16 from the floor. Makes you think, how would they stay in the game with those numbers? Four step counter against Roby, and that will be number five against Roby. With a mobility, and the improvement in that area is extraordinary by number 44. Early on this career, he had no counter to going over that same shoulder, the right one. They need more out of Roby, though. I really think this kid's got a lot to give, to show, and have some inner confidence to do some things. Like Lewis alongside former Indiana player. At the free throw line is Ward, who's got a double double on the ball game. Back-to-back double-doubles for him. He had 16 and 11 Sunday in the victory at Penn State. Are you impressed with his stamina? I mean, he has left it out there. I'm impressed with his stamina. I'm impressed with how strong he is, the energy that he has. But he's, he's one of those level. big guys that you just don't want to mess with. No. Well, you can say that about a lot of people. <laughs> That is true. It's a 9-0 run here for Michigan State as they lead by 12 with 1.45 to go. Palmer just trying to force the issue. He gets to the hoop. Wait, smartly doesn't give the foul. Dave Brown walled up. At what point, if you're Nebraska, do you start fouling well, because you're not in the bonus? I, I, I'd like to trap my deal. Look at this. Here the turnover by Nebraska as they stole the ball away. Allen, pump fake. Allen for three. They need it. They don't get it. And now a foul against Palmer as McQuaid went to the deck hard. He's okay. Boy, all the little things these kids do. McQuaid, guard, going for that rebound. That's just the 16 foul, so it won't be free throws here. He hurt his arm and leg, too, when he came down. But that was a big open opportunity as well. It's 15 in a row, missed three-pointers by Nebraska. So now with 1.17 to go, you're down by 10. The next foul will force a one-on-one. -on -one. I think you go for a little trap, see if you get a turnover. I don't think they meant to give it that soon because they had people located in the middle of the floor. Winston's a nearly 80% free-throw shooter. He's 3 of 3 tonight. Uh, Tom's comments, he's all leadership, this kid. Exudes a lot of confidence. Very positive attitude. Makes the free throw. He's got 25. If he makes the next, he'll tie his season high of 26. Wish we could say the same about our truck. Positive attitude. <laughs> One of two at the line. He's got 25, 11-point lead. Nebraska has to go fast. Quick hitter. Palmer. Way He'll go to the free throw line for two. Wade underneath. McQuaid has played so well defensively. At this point in the game, you'd rather give up the two than foul and stop the clock. Uh, he's, got, he's trying to contain, of course, good players' body search. And Palmer, who's had a tough night, very capable offensive player. And he gets the roll. Back to a 10-point game with 1.10 to go. Fans are starting to file out here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Plenty of time, really. So you see a Lake back from nine with less than a minute ago. 
It is a nine-point game. And and Allen commits the foul again here against Cassius Winston. Now they don't want him to get the ball. That's the idea. He's the one guy. There's a lot of good free-throw shooters, but he's extraordinary, as you noted. It's the eighth team foul, so one and one once again here for Winston. Again, Michigan State doing this without Kyle Arns, without Joshua Langford. Langford, the report we heard from Andy Katz earlier is that he's going to be hopefully getting the boot off in the next couple of days. He will then be reevaluated, and they will go from there. But once they get him back, watch out. A new season high with 27 points for Cassius Winston. Well, the reason depth is important for Michigan State is the level of spoon. Oh, goodness. Ooh, <laughs> where was that? That snaps 15 they didn't stop in a row. The clock. They didn't stop the clock. They're going to stop the clock. That's what Tim Miles and the staff is yelling at. And now a timeout is taken here by Michigan State. Uh, and least... because of that timeout, Let's see what happens. Well, they may Larry win. Serrato's going over, and let's see if the clock, if the ball went through before a minute. Timeout. I think it was at least 10 seconds the way that thing ran off. Larry Serrato, Rob Riley, Keith Kimball, the officials in this game. They said the clock is fine. It's a Michigan State timeout. My question is, when did the ball go through the hoop? Was it under a minute when yeah. it did, or is it beyond a minute when it did? You're asking the wrong guy. You got three guys that are supposed to know that. Let's see. That's right at yeah, a minute. Right. See? Interesting. Really. So it's 63.55. Ten additional seconds essentially came off yeah. the clock. They run the baseline. But the whole other side of the floor to work with. Pretty interesting concept. Good, another good free throw shooter, too. Quaid to Goins. Give it. There's the foul. That was much better. Uh, well, look Goins on a season 76.7% free throw shooter. You don't have many choices, but I'd rather him than two guards. I you? agree with yeah. you, yeah. And that is the 19th foul, so it is one and one here for Goins. Michigan State trying to get a school record 19th straight Big Ten regular season win. Well, I'm looking around a lot, of, a lot of people, but they've not left. It's great. You know what I mean? This is a great, great college basketball event. Goins able to make both of them. 10-point game, 44.7. Palmer to the hoop. He gets fouled by Winston, stops the clock at 38.8, and you know that just frustrates Tom Izzo. Uh, he got the whistle. I'm not so sure he fouled, though. They gave ground all the way. Palmer, shockingly, is at 19 points for the game. He can get it going quickly. Just had such a tough night and settled frequently for the deep. Five of 18 from the floor. Makes both free throws. They get it to McQuaid. You got to commit the foul. Yeah. Oh, they did. They did. They didn't call it. And now up ahead. And there is the foul. Unfortunately, two shot opportunity. Alan Kenton commits the foul. Should have been two anyhow. Well, the team's got it going, though. It's tough. Tough one to swallow, but. Up and coming. Rutgers with a great win the other day. As then Purdue took care of business. Nothing's easy though when you look ahead in this league, don't you? It's amazing how strong the Big Ten is this year. Xavier Tillman misses the first free throw. They can hit double figures in this conference for the tournament. Probably nine. It's a ten. There's a real chance at 10, you're right. Palmer again to the hoop, trying to draw the contact. The follow dunk by Kenton. 
known as an outside shooter, but good anticipation at the rim. Nana. Nana. Provide a big time lift, and all of a sudden, there's breathing room here. Make this, get your press set. Down six. And that was the fifth foul called against Kenny Goins. So he is now fouled out. And like you said, you make this free throw, it's a six point game. And coming in for Goins will be the freshman Gabe Brown out of Ypsilanti, Michigan. And they were going to go in small. His lawyer is such a good free throw shooter. Big thing is don't let Winston get it. They scored, force others to catch it. I would think you'd want Henry, a 62% free throw shooter, a freshman, he might even take the it. inbounder. He might take it out. Got to make the free throw first. And Palmer with a follow and the foul. How about that? It ain't that? over yet. Woo! You never know. Just hang tough. Get shoved under the rim. No squeeze on the shooter. That's something they drill every day. Or on the foul lane, I should say. That's the senior against a freshman right there. It is now a four-point game. Amir Harris will come in for Copeland. They give fouls. That's why he's in there. Face guarding the inbounder. Tillman to inbound. They get it to Winston. And the foul is committed by Thomas Allen. 23.8 seconds. Well, they've done a nice job trying to close this game out. Conversely, Michigan State really struggling. Cassius Winston, he has 27. His career high is 28. Copeland coming back in, get some offense on the floor. Give Nebraska credit. They haven't given up. No, not at all. He has tied his career high with 28. More importantly, he's made it a five-point game. He's the wrong guy to foul, no question about it. Chipper two would go. They didn't let him get the basketball, help their cause. And there is the new career high for Cassius Winston. Palmer has scored 14 of the last 16 for Nebraska. Passes up the three. He wanted a nice cut. There's the cut. Nana with the dunk again. Timeout. And timeout taken by Nebraska with 14.7. Boy, did they have a great read. They took away the three-point shot. Step and go. Find it at the rim. Talk about a quick hitter. Just a real good understanding of when to get those puppies going towards the rim. A good find. And all because of that pressure D on the perimeter. You're worried about the three. We'll take the quickie. Get yourself right there. Down by four. And Gabe Brown was lucky not to pick up the foul right there. It could have been another and one situation. 68-64, 14.7 seconds to go here in this one. The SoFi game reset. Michigan State's got two timeouts remaining. Nebraska with one possession arrow in favor of the Spartans. And both teams are in the double bonus. Now, here's your big decision. Do you play somebody on the ball or you double Winston? What do you do? Interesting. I would play the ball and face guard him. Playing the ball. Copeland on the ball. Pretty good size, or he's going to play free safety, maybe. Roby has fouled out for Nebraska. Kenny Goins has fouled out for Michigan State. Tillman to inbound. They're trying to double Winston. They get it to McQuaid. There's a foul against McQuaid. And McQuaid is an 86.7% free throw shooter. But McQuaid is scoreless on the night 0 for 6 from the floor 0 for 2 from three-point land but don't forget he fell and hurt his arm earlier he had been rubbing it for a while
Makes the first free throw. Back to a five-point game. Don't forget, Michigan State had its largest lead of the game, a 12-point lead with 1.50 to go. A little ice here, then Tom a little gamemanship talking to him. Makes them both. Back up to a six-point lead. Palmer pulls up for three. It's long. Rebound by Winston. And they are not going to foul him. And that will do it. Michigan State will have a new school record. 19 consecutive Big Ten wins as they come into Lincoln, a hostile environment, and they get the victory. It was a hard-fought victory. Very competitive game. Exhilarating. Michigan State, so many answers. And of course, the lead guard, Winston, just extraordinary. A new career high for Cassius Winston with 29. Our final score, 70-64 for Bill Raftery, Andy Katz. I'm Justin Kudger. Let's get you to Mike Hill, Steve Lavin, Casey Jacobson in L.A. Yeah, we'll keep the action going in the Pac-12. Coming up, I guess I really like his team. You know, he's done a hell of a job here. Crowd was unbelievable. And our freshmen, I mean, we made some mistakes in that first half. We didn't, you know, we didn't do the things we needed to do. It's partly because of personnel. We got in foul trouble. The guy next to you, you know, did it on offense, did it on defense. He did it every way he could do. He probably coached the team better than I did. They made you sweat at the end, though, a little bit, uh, but you still earned it. You've now got road wins at Ohio State, at Nebraska, without Joshua Langford. What has that told you about this team? And Kyle Arns, who's sitting home and, and has been playing very well. Well, you know, our freshmen are getting a little better. We got a ways to go, but Nick and Cash, you know, we're going to go like they go, and Cash was so good tonight, and... Uh, you know, I'm just happy we got a win. This was a big win for us. I, I, I know you're laughing at me, but I, I really like their team. I like this place. Not laughing at you, laughing with you here. Uh, I'm going to turn to Cassius Winston. Cassius, right now, I don't think it's wrong to say that you may be the Big Ten Player of the Year. A little long way to go, but you have won games late in, in, the, in the clock, essentially. What did this mean win to, win to you? What did this win mean to you? Uh, it was huge, you know. I guess a, a really, really good team. Uh, they probably were the favorites to win tonight. And their crowd, you know, they had an amazing crowd. And we just, like I said, we fought it out. It wasn't pretty. It didn't go the way we wanted to go. But we just made plays to win the game. And that's going to be huge going down the stretch. All right, so you had a career high. Without Joshua Langford by your side, how much have you shouldered more of the load that you need to pick up the score? Uh, like I said, just my job on this team is to make plays, you know, whether it's scoring, whether it's assisting, you know, that's my role for this team. And, you know, with him out, that's a, that's a big piece missing. So I just do everything I can to, you know, make plays, get other guys some easy ones and hit the shot when I need to. Appreciate it, Cassius. Thank you. Let's go back to you, Mike, in L.A. All right, AK, uh, let's look at the uh, Big Ten standards right now. You see Michigan State, of course, leading the way. Michigan also undefeated in Big Ten play. And then Maryland's streaking. See them later on on FS1 later this week. 